I got subscriptions to almost all of the big licensing services, so I wanted to give you a 2022 and beyond update of what I think are awesome platforms and the best value for money. This video is not sponsored by any of the brands mentioned. I'm not trying to sell you any of the services and undermine like my credibility. It is my full, honest and unbiased opinion but I was sponsored by various of these services in other videos in the past. All right, so first thing, I selected four candidates that I personally all used before. The two most popular services on YouTube, which are Artlist and Epidemic Sound, and another very premium price service, which is called Musicbed, and the most budget-friendly service, which is called Audio. I researched a few smaller candidates, but I can't recommend them at this point, so I didn't include them into the video. Now, I created this matrix and I will give you my opinion about quantity, quality, flexibility, features and value for money and then we're gonna sum up all the points and determine who's the winner, okay? The first category is quantity and the most simple metric as we're only comparing the selection and the raw numbers of available tracks. Now, Artlist has 12,000 songs, Epidemic over 30,000 songs, Musicbed over 10,000 songs, and Audio over 5,000 songs. So when I formulate this into a score of one to 10, then Epidemic is the winner here with 10 points. The next category is quality, and quick disclaimer, quality is kinda subjective and really depends on your taste. I think none of the platforms have like bad music, but they all have a different vibe. So Artlist, for example, started off tailored towards professional filmmakers, so a lot of songs tend to feel more professional. I tend to find very cool and more rocky songs with guitar vibes there, and I feel that their style is evolving the most. So I'll give it a solid 8 out of 10. Epidemic feels a bit more playful and more suited for YouTube and less for a professional context. And I tend to find very cool melodic house and electronic music there. So another solid 8 out of 10. Now audio also has solid quality across the board and I just used them a bit less recently as I didn't see that many updates. So I'll give it a solid 8. Musicbed feels kind of similar to Epidemic with a lot of like cool electronic vibes, but the average song seems a bit higher in quality, so I would say Musicbed has among the best quality per track. So I'll give it a highest score here and Musicbed wins that category. The next category is flexibility and that one basically describes how flexible your license is. Now with Artlist and Audio, you receive a PDF with your license so you can sub-license that to your client or use it on a second channel and do whatever you want with it basically. You can also continue to use your song after your license had expired, which is pretty cool. So both services receive 10 points here. Now, Epidemic is a little bit different because you have to link your channel and you can only use it here. Now, for commercial use, they used to be very expensive and you had to pay like 99 US dollars per track, but they changed their business model and are much more up to speed with the market standard now. Musicbed is the only service that still follows an old business model from like three years ago and makes you pay by individual track and is still super expensive for commercial licensing and so on. So I can't give it more than five points here in that category, I'm afraid. Next, let's talk about features. Features are all kind of up to market standard these days. All services offer stuff like curated playlists from your favorite creators or the options for sound effects and you can access all of the platforms from your mobile, either through an app or optimized in your browser. However, the one platform that stands out is Epidemic Sound because they got two really awesome features. One is called Stems, which allows you to take apart your songs and use only individual elements. So for example, the bass or the vocals and so on. And the other is the fact that Epidemic Sound is available on Spotify. So that means you can pre-listen to your songs like kind of on the go there, which is super awesome. So 10 out of 10s for Epidemic here, seven and 10 points for Musicbed and Artlist respectively, and six points for audio as they just offer fewer curated playlists. The last category is the most important one in my opinion, and that is called value for money. 
because no matter how awesome the music is and no matter how many features you have, nobody wants to break the bank. So let's kick off with the value for money winner here. Audio is by far the cheapest because they have a unique offer. You pay only once and then you get lifetime subscription for all the music they have. It costs like $199 to $299, depending if it is on sale or something. And as I said, it will last you for a lifetime. You can use the songs as much as you want, which is really awesome. So I give it 11 points here, simply because it is so affordable. Next is Artlist, which takes 10 points here. They used to be annual, but now they personalize and starts at $9.99 per month, which is one of the cheapest out there. And their commercial plan is also only 16 bucks, which is also extremely fair. Epidemic Sound would have scored only five points a year ago, simply because they were so expensive when it came to commercial licensing, but they changed it and their plans now start at 12 US dollars for the personal plan and 25 US dollars for the commercial plan, which is a game changer in my opinion. It is a bit more expensive and a bit less flexible, but you get a large selection of songs, so I'll give it a solid eight. Now, the absolute loser in that category is the premium price service Musicbed. If you want an answer to the question, how much does Musicbed actually cost? I can't give you a straight one. You can find it very easily on the website if you're looking for pricing. And if you find it, they will send you like a huge questionnaire and make it dependent on the size of your channel or they distinguish what kind of filmmaker you are. So for a wedding filmmaker, they would charge you like 80 bucks per month, for example, or 60 bucks per song, which is more than they charge for a non-wedding filmmaker. I don't know if that makes sense. If you are a YouTuber, it ranges between like $25 per month if you are a small channel or $100 per month for bigger channels. It is super in transparency. It is expensive, it sucks. So two points here for Musicbed. All right, so if we go purely via the score, Artlist and Epidemic are the winners here with 44 points each. Audio scores 40 points and Musicbed only 33 points despite having one of the best quality tracks. Now, the end of the day, it kind of depends on your taste and what kind of videos you make. So let me give you my personal opinion. Epidemic Sound has some really cool music and that service was definitely one of the first that really shaped this like iconic 2017 to 2020 period of music on YouTube. But at the same time, it has a downside that being incredibly popular and very widespread makes it a little less unique, if you know what I mean. If you use the curated playlist from all the top creators there, then you might end up sounding a little too much like the YouTube top creator. What's up everyone? Peter McKinnon here. So for that sole personal reason, Epidemic Sound takes a second place for me. Now I currently like Artlist the best as they were the very first service that I used over three years ago and I saw the evolution, how they listened to their customers and how they made changes to their platform. They have a great overall package, they are extremely affordable and one of the cheapest plans with a large selection. But be aware, I might be a little bit biased because I developed a personal connection with them and they sponsor a lot of videos on my channel and I really like their team, but trying to be as objective as I can, I think they are the winner for me personally. Musicbed, despite having such high quality songs, I can recommend as they still use pricing from like three years ago, which is very sad. So Musicbed, if you're watching this, please do something, okay? Audio, I think, is a really good budget option. And I noticed it doesn't seem to get updated as often. But if you're getting such a value for money offer, then I think you can't really complain too much. As I said, if this video helped your decision making process, please leave a big thumbs up. I also included affiliate links which give you discounts and extra months and so on. So check it out in the video description. And if this is the first time you see me, I'm Eric, I'm from Germany and I talk all things photo and video. So if you want to learn more about these things, feel free to subscribe so we can hang out on the channel. And without further ado, hope you have a good day and I'll see you guys in the next video.